Hello everyone, welcome to day 13th of December Lead Code Challenge and today's question is Boss Balloons. So let's walk through the uh, question together. So in this question you are given uh, an array and uh, there's the rule that states that for each uh, for each bursting of a balloon you can calculate uh, these many points given by the formula stated here. Uh, nums of left into nums of right into nums of right and you need to uh, first of all uh, find out the maximum uh, coins that you can collect. Uh, while bursting all the balloons in your input uh, also uh, the question now directs us to finding the most appropriate permutation of bursting balloons that will lead to the maximum solution so how are we going to do this uh, let's walk through the examples first so you are given 3 1 5 8 so you boasted this balloon and uh, the adjacent balloon were 3 and 5 so you got 15 here and then since this is gone you left with 3, 3, 5, 8 and the, you bursted the middle balloon you got 128 and then again you bursted 3, 8 to the third balloon and you got 24 and the last one is 8 when you do a total of all this you get 150, 167 uh, the how, uh, how are you going to generate all the permutations there are unfactorial ways for generating the permutation you need to take some of uh, each uh, uh, cost uh, uh, the way you have you are walking through uh, the permutations you need to generate the sum uh, for calculating the cost uh, of cost or the coins that you have collected that will take order of n the total uh, complexity rises to n into n factorial for the brute force solution we are not going to do this because uh, that will be way too uh, time consuming so let's go with the dynamic programming approach uh, what does this approach say uh, just before starting with the algorithm one thing that we are going to do we are going to pad the input that means we are going to add one to the start and one to the end of the input so that we don't need to do a handle corner cases it will be appropriately handled by our algorithm also if you have done something like uh, longest palindromic substring in the past it will be quite helpful for you to understand the algorithm uh, what are we going to do with this algorithm uh, we will uh, iterate from We'll, we'll be moving in a window fashion starting from the window of size 1 to the window of size of the length of the input and um, we'll be calculating uh, we'll be filling in uh, our dp array uh, uh, something similar to uh, this uh, I'm, I just uh, added figures in this array in, I filled in uh, this array with, the, with using this formula and the formula says that uh, you need to iterate uh, through uh, the window of, uh, of various sizes and for calculating any particular value you need to uh, you will be using the pre-computed value of a lesser window size for example if you are interested in uh, this particular window size what will the maximum profit for this window uh, you will be iterating through all the possibilities from this point till this point and at any point uh, you will uh, calculate the profit using this formula the formula says uh, that you you assume that uh, if you are bursting this balloon uh, all these balloons in the window are already bursted so the profit here would be one part of the profit here would be 1 into 3 into the 1 and uh, the other part of the profit would be equal to the cost for computation for this array that will be given by the window that the dp of the previous uh, computation that you have already done for the smaller subset and uh, this this will give you one value now we will iterate through the next uh, iteration and i becomes this so uh, you will assume that uh, all this is already gone and you are left with this this is this is also gone and you are left with 1 into 1 into 1 and uh, the dp of this computation of this part of the array and this part of the array plus the current computation is 1 into 1 into 1 the summation of these three values will give give us the cost for this iteration similarly you move to the next for the next iteration and um, the cost of computation here would be 5 into 1 into 1 you'll assume 3 1 and 8 are already boasted and uh, the cost of computation would be uh, for, for for this part of the array plus 1 into 5 into 1 uh, plus this part of the dp will give us the cost of computation for the current iteration you'll do it from starting from left till right and whatever the maximum value of this uh, window is that will be your answer so i have filled in 
uh, all these uh, data with the uh, with the uh, with this uh, using this uh, algorithm that I stated. So you go in something in this fashion for the window size one 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 one. These are the values, and window size two. Uh, these are the values. Window size three. These are the values, and window size four. This is the value. So every time you are calculating, you will be using various uh, values that have been pre-calculated in the past. So algorithm is something like this: for window size one to n, uh, you move in iteratively, and uh, you start from the left point. Left point goes from one till n minus window plus one. You compute for the uh, right part what will be your ending point uh, of the window, and uh, then for each for each iteration, left starting from left till right, you calculate the cost. The, uh, then the cost is given by this formula. Uh, you then find the maximum cost, and dp of left to right will give you the actual cost uh, for the current window. You simply return one till n. That's it. Let's quickly code this up. Let's define the length. Let's define the new input array. I nums. Len plus two because you are doing padding here. I of nums of I of zero equals to one. Now let's update the input with uh, the appropriate value. I nums that I mean, starting from I equals to len. I plus plus I nums equals to I plus one equals to nums of I and now update the last pointer I nums of len plus one equals to one and let's define the DPRA. The DPRA will be of size len plus two comma len plus two. Because our input is greater, uh, we have increased the length of the input by two. Therefore, uh, the two DD or PRA for both the indices will be two greater than the length. Now let's calculate the. Uh, let's now do the computation for the DPRA. Window equals to one. Window is less than equal to length. Window plus plus. Now let's start from the. Left pointer left equals to one. Left plus window is less than then plus two. Left plus plus. That's pretty simple. Let's calculate the right index. Right index would be given by left plus window minus one. And let's do the iteration for i uh, across the window. First left i is less than equal to right i plus plus. That would be integer current cost equals to i nums of left minus one into i nums of i into i nums of right plus one. So this part gives us uh, the this part this gives us the in, uh, number just before the starting of our window. This is for the current iteration, and this is just after the end of our window. And now let's take the DP part for the uh, internal val internal cost for uh, cross till reaching i, and from i till reaching uh, the end the right 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 point. The first part would signify left. Comma i minus one, and the second part signifies the cost for reaching uh, from the ith plus one end, so i plus one end, till uh, the right most point, and uh, dp of left comma right equals to math dot max. dp of left comma right comma current Cost. So let's return the DP of one comma len. I think this should be good.
this worked and let's just submit this up so uh, let me just reiterate uh, this algorithm what you have done you have first of all padded the input added one to the starting point updated the values of as in inums and one to the ending point you created a dp of size 2 greater than the length and for each window size starting from one till the length uh, you start from the leftmost point of the window uh, till the uh, rightmost point and calculated computed the rightmost point and starting from the leftmost point till the rightest point you uh, chose uh, ith balloon to be burst for bursting out ith balloon let's calculate the cost that that gives us the current cost or coins uh, for the current computation uh, you since you are bursting the ith balloon uh, you just exclude the window part one balloon before the window the current bursting balloon one just the balloon after the window just the immediate one after the window and cost for reaching for bursting uh, starting from the leftmost point till i minus one and cost for uh, bursting i plus one uh, till the rightmost point so this gives us the complete cost and you calculated updated the dp of left comma right uh, with the maximum that you are able to achieve in the complete iteration starting from left till right what is the time complexity of the solution the time complexity of the solution is the order of n cube since you are iterating uh, through three loops and uh, the space complexity is of uh, order of n square since you have a dp array of uh, len plus 2 and len plus 2 for both the indexes it's n square for space complexity. Thanks for watching the video.